Australia trades on its clean, green and healthy image. It's why our goods are highly sought after all over the world. But there's one market Aussie businesses are a little reluctant to try, and that's China. It's costing us $40 billion a year in lost opportunity. With the help of the team at the New South Wales Business Chamber's Export Growth China program, doing business with one of our most important trading partners could soon be a reality. Australian producers, particularly Australian boutique exporters in the SME market, produce high quality, clean, green, safe products and services built from soil that is not contaminated, from air that is clean and fresh, from water that is pure. Um, you can't beat that worldwide and, this, and the Chinese consumers want that desperately and want lots of it. Despite that insatiable appetite and a free trade agreement signed in 2015 between the two countries, Australian businesses face many barriers and often give in at the first hurdle. The reluctance comes from a misunderstanding of the complexities of the regulations and the expectations of the Chinese consumer. You are talking about um, a 1.3 billion size population with a, a purchasing power of 250 million people who constitute the middle class and the high class um, communities. These people have been educated overseas, they have been exposed to Western products and services, and they are looking for that very same high quality standard back in their home country. Even top quality winemakers from internationally renowned regions like the Hunter Valley find the entry into China tough. Well, we didn't have a first port of call and, and, and that's the prime difficulty. Like it's pointless arriving by aircraft in Shanghai with a couple of bottles of wine under your wing and looking around for markets. Bill Whidden and his wife Vicky turned to Export Growth China for help and within a year their first container load of wine was shipped off to Shanghai. They've had another five orders since. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> you do need help. You desperately need help. It's, um, China is, is enormous. You can't go over there and just set up a shop and think it's going to happen. It's not going to. When an SME goes to China, it's like a small fish in a big sea they get lost. <laughs> they need to find a way, find direction, they need assistance. So the program actually helps them navigate the th through the system. And more importantly, we endorse the brand. SME definitely need this chamber endorsement. EGC has assisted almost 200 small to medium enterprises trade in the Chinese market, resulting in more than $7 million in sales. It's not just what a great job we do for exporters, we do need that commitment from the exporters. We need to work in hand in hand as a team. It's that teamwork that helped Koala Eco crack the Chinese market just months after the husband and wife team opened their home cleaning products business. We worked very closely with them over, over a you know, three to six month period. Um, and we were lucky enough to be put in touch with Kaola.com, um, who have a team actually based here in Sydney. They're, they're a large e-commerce platform in China. And they like uh, kind of bespoke um, uh, brands, so they were happy to take a chance on a, on a small growing company. So we were, I think, you know, we were, the timing was good and we, I think we've got a good product and we were fortunate to be working with, with good people. If a young couple with no exporting experience can do it, surely it's worth considering your business's growth opportunities. The time is right now to enter the Chinese market and with a highly subsidised service that is offered by the Chamber community at very, very low rates that are subsidised by the Export Market Development Grant, the entry into China has never been more timely and more cost efficient. For more information, visit exportgrowth.com.au or speak with the team on the EGC hotline 1800 505 529.